Hi friends, I just wanted to say hello and tell you about some things that have been on my heart and percolating in my mind lately. Hey, uh, I've had a really special person in my life, Pastor Glenn Povey, and some years ago he went to Afghanistan and got very sick thereafter and his kidney started to fail and he's been on dialysis for years now. He just got a new kidney and there's a picture of him here and it was interesting seeing what one of his daughters said my he says for the grace of God and medical professions that have devoted their life to this work I would not have the peace of mind and hope for the future that I have today and it got me thinking about something that I'd heard at the U2 concert in Vancouver back in 05 and it was actually something that Bono had said amidst that song, Miracle Drug. And there's some pictures that someone has kept from the event. I'm putting up here. Man, that was amazing. Whoa. I just realized that was like a year ago. I mean, like, not one year ago. It was 13. 12 years ago, pretty much to the day. That is just absolutely weird. Um, but what he said there was he really believed that God uses doctors and nurses. And that just really got me thinking, because when we think about God bringing people health, yeah, we usually think about miracles or, or healing. But some of God's grace and some of the answers to prayer for people for their conditions are being poured out right now in research laboratories and other medical facilities uh, being released to the minds of men and women that are going to bring that healing. And you think about people in the Bible like Luke. He was the physician and he wrote the Bible. If we say there's no place for doctors in medicine, because God heals everyone and that's the way he wants to do it. Even from a Christian perspective, there would be no place for medicine. But there is. And uh, the grace of God comes th uh, through people. And sometimes the answers to healing and prayer comes through technology. Somebody asked me, how come we don't see more people healed in the West? Part of the reason is that we have health care here. If you're in some places where you don't have it and you know that you need God you're crying out to God and God does for you what has to be straight from him because there's no medical mediator to do it it has to be either a direct healing or someone you meet with the gift of healing I know somebody who went to a Reinhard Bonnke conference 10 years ago brought her blind friend never occurred to her blind friend she was going to be healed at it she was that's pretty darn cool. I started looking at the lyrics again to Miracle Drug. And uh, it wasn't quite how I remembered it, but not entirely different. Uh, I had found out that it was inspired by Bono when he saw a, a paraplegic person. And as it turned out, it was someone who went to his high school. It says, we all went to the same school. And just as we were leaving, a fellow called Christopher Nolan arrived. He had been deprived of oxygen for two hours when he was born, so he was paraplegic. But his mother believed he could understand what was going on and used to teach him at home. Eventually, they discovered a drug that allowed him to move one muscle in his neck. So they attached this unicorn device to his forehead, and he learned to type. And out of him came all these poems that he'd been storing up in his head. Then he put out a collection called Damn Burst of Dreams which won a load of awards, and he went off to university and became a genius, all because of a mother's love and a medical breakthrough. So there is, sometimes when you read these lyrics that Bono has, there is so much going on there. And Bono read a intro to the Psalms for uh, some project, and in the Psalms it says deep calls unto deep some of the lyrics that you see are 
from U2 songs are are just so beyond what the normal pop artist does. If you really look at what's there, uh, it, it's it's amazing. And uh, I didn't appreciate all that was here when I first heard this song, or even in the early years. And just coming back to it again, almost had a bit of a different take. So he says, I want a trip inside your head and spend the day there to hear the things you haven't said and see what you might see. I want to hear you when you call. Do you feel anything at all? I want to see your thoughts take shape and walk right out. Freedom has a scent like the top of a newborn baby's head. The songs are in your eyes. I see them when you smile. I've seen enough. I'm not giving up on a miracle drug. Of science in the human heart, there is no limit. There is no failure here, sweetheart, just when you quit. Ha! Huh. Did you ever think about if you could ever be completely intimate with someone, mind to mind, heart to heart, not just having, you know, like he says later, uh, the songs are in your eyes. I've seen them when you smile. I've had enough of romantic love. I'd give it up. Yeah, I'd give it up for a miracle, a miracle drug. And you know, he shows that the miracle drug is basically that trip inside of someone's head. If you could really have that intimacy of knowing somebody. Think about how many things are inside of you that uh, are beautiful and that no one gets to hear or gets to see because they're not shared. Deep calls unto deep. If you find someone else who can appreciate those things, it will resonate with them. And that is something deeper than romantic love. Or maybe some of the shallow things that we are pursuing right now. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. And then Bono just says, boy, I'd, you know, he'd give up whatever just, just to have this guy be able to walk and talk. And uh, eventually it happened. And uh, so all of you who are looking for true love true love a science in the human heart there is no limit there is no failure here sweetheart just when you quit I am you and you are mine love makes nonsense of space and time will disappear so love and logic keep us clear reason is on our side love it's a meeting of the heart and mind in some kind of timeless space that is really beyond our physical dimensions and uh, becomes kind of a spiritual experience. So, you know, something that's kind of funny is um, my ancestors, I have one thread of my ancestry that is on the, uh, that is Irish and it's the Hewson clan that is Bono's, because his name is Paul Hewson, and I have a, a Dempsey side, and we fought over a castle for like 400 years until Bono's family won it, and then they decided that would be the last victory, and uh, no one would be fighting over this castle anymore. So it's Lee Castle. My name's Lee, but it's not L-E-A. It's certainly not named after me, nor am I aimed, named for it. But uh, it's kind of an interesting story there. You know, I was at men's group yesterday, and uh, ah, I don't think I can tell the story. I can't tell the story. Because what goes on in men's group stays in men's group. But uh, we had some other Bono lyrics that were quite relevant to somebody there. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's lots there. Hey, everybody. I know sometimes Bono does some things that not all of us agree with, but um, I remember 
reading how uh, Bono had such a kind of a tough relationship with his dad and then his dad went through I, I think it was cancer he he, uh, he was going down and so this became the inspiration for a couple of songs where uh, he gets to talk about this and we uh, we can't make it on our own you know you see a lot of Instagram posts and things I'm strong I can do this I am my own inspiration but we're social people we're never meant to be totally alone and we may be the one who needs to lead ourselves out of whatever situation we're in but we're not meant to be alone so just state your name say I am so and so I'm a human being I need love and and it's true and uh, and you need to give love as well <sighs> I don't want to talk anymore I hope you enjoyed my reflections